Hey guys, welcome back to the Style Lord. It's San here, short for Sanyo. And today's video is just really some everyday casual wear type of lookbook. So without any further ado, let's begin. I hope you enjoy it. So the first outfit I have on here is um, this little beige, like, what would you call this? Um, kind of like one of those... Uh, um, hmm, pencil type dresses, is that what you'd call these? Anyway, let me just show you. So perfect for fall, I mean, you know, we just trans we're transitioning from summer to fall and as you can see it's a very lightweight cotton material. What do you call these type of dresses? Um, I don't know. <laughs> spaghetti strap dresses? I don't know. Anyway, definitely you need to wear a different type of underwear than the one I'm wearing. The one I'm wearing has a little frill around the, the waistline, so not a good look. And, yep, I could lose some more weight there. I'm working on it. So, sooner or later, this little baby will be gone. <laughs> anyway, so, yep, weight loss in progress. Anyway, let me show you how I'm going to style this baby up. So here we go, it's spaghetti strap, it has like a square boat neck, neck neckline. Somehow I managed to rip it, so I will be mending that, so do pardon that. So and uh, yeah, given that it's going to be chilly soon, while the weather is still permitting of being warm, you know, you can um, wear it as is, but once the weather get warm, you want to uh, add something atop, over top it to keep yourself protected from the elements. And I think I got this dress from Forever 21 last summer. <clears throat> and I'm going to strap it up with my, my little corset number sandals with the funky diamond shaped heels um yeah try to keep it in that neutral tone and if it was a little cooler say you know you just couldn't wear an open toe shoe like this one i would still wear these shoes but put on some opaque stockings with them i've done that many times and i really it's just a quirky little funky look that i love and have been doing for years so anyway before i throw on the cardigan let me show you what it will look like without it full body so here we go full body this is it how cute and i paired it with a kind of uh what do you call this hmm. cold neck or camel looking well, i'll say more like a ponytail Lovely piece, isn't it? So now I'm going to show it to you just to, if it was a bit cool outside, then you'd need a cover up. So, given that it's sleeveless, so I'm going to pair this over, top it. <clears throat> back up and show you. This one comes with a cardigan, I believe. This is an Urban Outfitter, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, this is an Urban Outfitters um, cardigan. Oh, let me go. The poster is very nice. It's like that, uh, it's got that uh, kind of cam, um, what do you call it, waffle or, you know, striping effect on it. It's that oatmeal color so it matches the whole entire outfit I got going on here. It has these really big comfy pockets on both sides which I love. It comes with the hoodie. Let me back up. Yeah, and there you go. That's it 
Everyday wear casual look numero one. I'll be back with number two in a jiffy. Okay, guys, so I am back with uh, everyday wear casual wear look number two, and this one is a lovely dress that I got from Zara earlier this year. I love this dress. Um, it's one of those buttoned front dress, you know, from top to bottom. Um, it's kind of like a cross between linen and cotton material, very lightweight. Again, so if you're going to be wearing this when the months get cooler, definitely throw on a cardigan or perhaps even a shirt underneath. Um, pair it with stockings and, you know, appropriate shoes. So, so let me just show you the details of this dress. So you can see, pardon guys, I, I wasn't able to iron anything because whatever reason, my closet with, that holds my iron just won't open. Anyway, so if the door is stuck. If you have any idea on how to get a stuck door open, like it's stuck at the very top, I'm pulling the handle, turning the handle, the bottom portion is moving a bit, but the top part is just stuck. It won't go, it won't budge. So let me know if you have any tip on how to loosen a somehow self-jammed door. Anyway, so here's this lovely dress. So I paired it again with the same belt I did with the last look because of the brown buttons. I thought I would pull out the brown from the buttons using the belt. And there it is in the back. It's very square neck up here. You could unhinge this button up here if you like, you know, but I prefer it covered up. Don't want to show my, you know, cleavage, expose myself in that way. Um, so you, you button to midway down your thigh and then it splits open the rest of the way. So let me back up and show you just what that looks like. So it has pockets, but there's a weird placement of the pockets. It's on the side and kind of way too high. It, it needed to be down low a bit placed a little bit lower than where it is. So it's a bit of a design dysfunction going on there. I've never seen pockets this high and over on the side of a dress. Anyway, there's the back. Back of the dress. It is the front. Lovely. Lovely. I mean, you can pair this with a lovely pair of sandals. Um, and bag of choice. I could go this route or get to the tan color or kind of like an off uh, creamy ivory color or I can go the straw. Go with the straw or tan type of bag. Yep. And I can even pair that same cardigan on top of it. So again when the weather is cooler outside you just need something keep you a bit more covered up and warm. Cardigans are a great way to go. I love cardigans. Um, short, long, the sweater-like ones. This one is more of a very lightweight one, so it works perfectly. There you go. Again. I just love dresses. I you don't know, I'm very much a dress type of woman more than a pants type of woman. I guess it's because of the way I was brought up. My grandma's always said, girls wear skirts and dresses, boys wear the pants. <laughs> anyway, so this is the look. And I love it. Very casual, very easygoing. And yeah, it's just a nice piece. Anyway, I'll be back with look number three and last. Okay guys, so I am back with casual look number three and last, and this one I really love. It's one of my favorite dresses, and I've yet to wear it. <laughs> um, I bought it because I really admire, adore it. It's such a cute piece. So I'm going to show you. It's I got it from Zara. It's a uh, corset-like dress. So as you can see, it has that corseted waistline of the drawstring. It has that very kind of pleated, it's a very dark heather, uh, charcoal gray I should say, 
and it's almost like that pumpkin fit at the bottom. So I'll show you. Yeah, it's almost very balloony down here at the bottom like a pumpkin. And it's long sleeve, of course, so it's perfect for the fall. If you want to winterize it, you just put it on some opaque stockings, some nice ankle boots, or even some high heels, or even some, you know, over the knee or knee high boots. And yeah, you're perfect for the fall. Let me show you what that looks like from afar. Go look. Lovely. I'm going to pair it also with this lovely sleeveless cardigan. Um, this one I got from the guests, from guests. Um, very fluffy, lightweight, but very fluffy type of uh, material. Very comfy, cozy. So, show you it on top. How perfect is that look? There you go. Put a belt over it. So if you wanted to like really create a whole separate look, you can literally put a belt around this. And I'm just gonna grab this brown belt. I would use a black belt, but hey, a little contrast, a pop of color is always great. So see what that's looking like. So there you go. And that's it with the belt on. gorgeous okay guys so that is the that's a wrap that's the final look and thank you so much for watching and uh be sure to like comment subscribe and share this video comment below which was your favorite casual lookbook i mean look and uh i'll see you next time have yourselves a wonderful day bye ciao